Hey guys, Mingpu here, and here lately I've been trying to improve the performance on the Acer Nitro 5, but as you know it's getting old and there's pretty much nothing you can do internally that would vastly improve the FPS gains. As a last resort, I purchased an external GPU setup, which consists of an external PCI Express interface dock, a power cable, and a next generation form factor cable, or NGFF for short. This will replace the Wi-Fi Bluetooth card that's inside the Acer Nitro 5. I then purchased a Roswell 700 watt power supply to get everything running. This is the familiar NVIDIA control panel which lets you change some things to your liking such as resolution, dual displays, color settings, and which adapter you would like to use. Here's the DirectX diagnostic tool showing that the GTX 970 is recognized. This will be the first video card I test and then later on I'm going to use the Vega 56. It also lists the model of the laptop and some important info. The next screen is showing that the 1050 Ti is having a problem. The card is disabled and can be fixed easily if need be. This is the GeForce Experience showing the same info about the system and video card. In Falling Order, which is the first game out of two, I'm getting at least 50 to 60 more FPS. On the top left where it says 1050 Ti 0%, for some reason when I change some games, this happens. And I'll have to look into the problem a little later, I'm just a little short on time. In Red Dead Redemption 2, I got an average of 61.41 with the following settings. And this is with the Vega 56. In this next clip, I'm going to have Red Dead Redemption 2 being recorded by software. And then I'm going to have it shown or overlaid on top where I'm externally recording. And you will be able to see the difference in FPS drop. I'm not exactly sure why there is such a steep FPS drop by using recording software, but it's very much more than normal.
so anyway, here's my setup and excuse the mess as I have little time for neatness at the moment. This is the power supply, followed by the RX Vega video card, which is inserted into the dock. I have two 6 plus 2 pin connectors for the GPU power, and the main board pin is connected into the dock. I have an HDMI cable going out of my TV monitor, and the NGFF is connected to the Nitro 5 using the NGFF expansion slot. And this pretty much wraps up the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Mean Poo, out.